What's up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingDudes.com. Uh, today, we're going to look at the three-year-old Philly division. I'm going to give you my top five for that division uh, heading into the summer. And uh, this is yet another division that seems to be pretty wide open. And really, anybody with a big summer can jump up and take control of this division. So the three-year-old females have been very good. We've seen the females compete against the boys in Triple Crown races, Secret Oath. Uh, was fourth in the Preakness. Nest, a fantastic run to get second in the Belmont. So, uh, boy, they look really, really, really strong. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it. Look, at number five, I'm going to keep Echo Zulu right there at number five. Hasn't came back as a three-year-old like she did as a two-year-old when she was the two-year-old female of the year last season. This year came back in one at the Fairgrounds and the Fairgrounds Oaks to kick off the year. Was fourth in the Kentucky Derby. Had a chance Saturday to kind of maybe move back up, get a grade one, win the acorn. Don't know if she would have been first, but maybe get up to second. Had to scratch. They said she just wasn't warming up right leading up to the race. They had to scratch her. So Echo Zulu now at number five. And like I said, Kentucky Oaks, fourth place finish um, for Echo Zulu. And then we haven't seen her since. So we'll see what happens. You know, is she hurt? Is she lame? All this stuff, all the rumors. At, at right now, we'll keep her at five and we'll kind of see – where she shakes out, but it, that's kind of an interesting horse as we go forward. Number four, I'm going to put Kathleen O at number four. Obviously, extremely disappointing in the Kentucky Oaks. Just didn't have it that day. Um, wasn't absolutely embarrassed, but just wasn't quite good enough. If you looked at her races prior at Gulfstream Park, we think she was really, really good. And so maybe she's ready for a big summer. Maybe she's one that we've kind of forgotten about now. Maybe she'll come back, show her best in the summer and get back into this division. Like I said, a couple big summer wins, and a horse like Kathleen O could be right back up to number one or number two. So she's certainly one to keep an eye on. Number three is Matarea, and this was the horse that really benefited in the acorn from Echo Zulu scratching. Um, this was a field of five in the acorn. Echo Zulu scratches at the field of four. Matarea dominates the race. She is dominating the competition so far. We haven't seen her go long yet. We have not seen her go two turns this year, so that's kind of the question mark. But a huge win in the Acorn, um, and coupled with other big stakes wins as well at Keeneland Churchill Downs. Matarea at number three. She's sitting right there in the catbird seat. Let's see if they try to stretch her out or they keep her sprinting. That's kind of the question mark going into the summer with her. All right, it's really tough to go to distinguish between number one and number two. I want to be clear. This is a ranking of what... I think they are, as of right now, say the season ended right now, this is how I think you'd have to vote. Will it end kind of like this in these rankings? I'm not really sure because number two on my list is Nest. I believe Nest could become the number one horse in this division. I think she probably will. But as of right now, I still have her number two. She lost the Kentucky Oaks to Secret Oath. Yeah, she had some excuses in that race, but she still lost it. So the head-to-head -head matchup goes to Nest. I thought Nest was, was more impressive in her try against the boys than Secret Oath was in her try in the Preakness. So Nest, you know, number two, a very clear number two going into the summer. Every chance in the world to get number one. And I think eventually Nest will be the number one horse. But as of right now, the number one horse for me has to be Secret Oath. You know, this horse, she also won the biggest race for Philly so far this year in the Kentucky Oaks. And it wasn't like she won by a nose. She did it easy. It wasn't even in doubt midway through the stretch. So Secret Oath certainly number one for me. Obviously, disappointing. The Arkansas Derby finishing third, very disappointing. You look at the horses that ran ahead of her, they're not that great, right? We kind of saw it. Barber Road is, is just kind of average. Cyberknife ran great Arkansas Derby Day, but he's not a great horse. She didn't really have a lot of excuse. She could have won that race, right? Um, she did have a poor trip. I get it. But still, it was a strike against her there. Obviously, the Preakness, really wide trip, got beat by three horses that ran well. Secret Oath didn't run bad in that race. So, But undefeated against three-year-olds. Going to go to the coaching club, American Oaks, next. A win there and just strengthens that number one spot. It's hers to lose going into the summer. We'll see if she can beat Nest again. That's going to be the big question mark. And listen, if we get Nest versus Secret Oath at Saratoga, maybe throw in a Kathleen O. You know Shug McGay, he might be up for that. Is it? Is that better than the Kentucky Oaks, knowing what we know about these horses now? Maybe. So it's going to be a lot of fun to watch this uh, this, this series go here. Because, like I said, just like the three-year-old males, 
real females, it's up for grabs right now. There's not a lock in this division. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked all the videos we did on the divisional rankings. And, man, the, the, the racing is really just heating up. The Triple Crown may be over. Don't worry about it. We're here at RacingNews.com, 365 days a year covering horse racing for you. And like I said, the real good stuff is just getting going. So hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you for the next video.